Hey everybody and welcome back to the Dev Marketer channel. This is part two of our Getting Started with Vue.js series, okay? The Vue.js fundamentals. Now in this, this is gonna be the first video where we're actually gonna start working with Vue, okay? And to get started, we're actually not gonna touch on Laravel, we're not gonna start touch on any backend framework, we're just gonna be using HTML and then Vue.js, putting them together to see how simple Vue.js really can become. Now this is truly the beauty of Vue.js is the fact that um, it really takes, you're, pull, you're pulling in a Vue.js uh, script file and then you can start using it and it can be in plain HTML and all that other stuff. So it's really nice that you can go that simple and that's what we're gonna talk about in this video. We're gonna make our first little um, application basically you can call it. It'll be very basic but we're gonna make it and we're gonna explore the first item of um, basically initializing a view object. Now just as a disclaimer this is obviously very basic but the idea here is to start at the beginning work our way up. So if you feel that this is too basic, you already know this, you've already covered it, just skip the video, it's absolutely fine. There's no reason to comment below and tell me that it's too basic because the whole concept here is that some people need to learn this and then others don't. So just skip past it if you don't need it. Now again, the flow of this video series is gonna be starting with the basics, getting more advanced, and then eventually building a Vue.js application that just runs with Vue.js and it, you know HTML and CSS. And then after that, we're gonna connect it to a backend system. We'll be using Laravel and PHP in this series, and uh, who knows, maybe we can do something else in the future with Node.js or something like that. But that's gonna be kind of the flow of the series. Okay, now let's get started by creating a, our first Vue.js application, initializing Vue, and seeing how easy it is to get started. All right, so as you guys know, we've got here our, um, we're on the Vue.js website, and I'm gonna kind of follow this guide slightly loosely. I think it, it's a good starting, so the first four videos will kind of follow um, you know, this tutorial, but I'll be able to explain more and talk about it because they don't go into a lot of detail here. Okay, and then as you can see here, let's, um, well, let's go real quick over to our terminal. And you can see I've created a project called View Tutorial, okay? And you can download this on GitHub. It's very, very basic this time, but you can download all this source code on GitHub. I'll have this View Tutorial project on GitHub that you can download. The link will be in the description, okay? Now let's go ahead and just open this up in Atom. And when we open it up, we're going to have a folder here for part number two. Now part two is a basic index.html. That's all there is to it, okay? So if you open this up, you're gonna see a very, very basic template. We've got our doc type up here. We've opened up our HTML tag, we close it. We've got our head right here and then our body right here and that's it, okay? So it's incredibly basic. Um, I just put some basic starter stuff here, our title, so nothing fancy is going on. The one thing that I've done here is we pulled in our CSS for Bootstrap just to make things a little bit nicer, but it's just CSS, and um, and then we've got some kind of hard-coded um, H1 tag, and that's it, all right? So I just want you guys to see how simple this is. It's an index.html file, that's it. Now let's talk about how we can start turning this into a view project, okay? The first thing we need to do is we need to pull in the script file for view.js. Um, it's a very, very small file, which is one thing that's awesome about view.js. It's 16 kilobytes, and it will pull in all the functionality for view with that little 16 kilobytes, all right? Now, the first thing we wanna do is we need to get that view.js file, okay, so that we can take advantage of this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down here, getting started, installation, go over to guide slash installation to get there. And when we scroll down, you can see there's a CDN option to basically get the file. And we're going to use the recommended one, which is Unpackage. Now, Unpackage is gonna be the one that's always up to date. It gets updated immediately. You can also do um, some of these other CDN JS and JS Deliver, but it takes a, a little longer to update. So we're just gonna go here to Unpackage. Let's grab this code or this, um, uh, let's grab the URL up here. And then we're going to come down here and we're gonna pull it in through a script tag, all right? So let's go and do that. We're gonna go script, source, equals, and we're gonna paste it in, okay? And now we should have full advantage of uh, view.js. Now, it is important to note that this is the normal view.js. This isn't the minified version. It's highly recommend, recommended that you use the normal version in development because that way, um, you know, helpful hints will output to the console. If you use the minified version, you're not going to get access to those features, okay? So make sure you use the normal version. Even though it's a little bit bigger, it won't matter in the big scheme of things, okay? So now that we've got that project open, you can see we can actually now initialize our um, view project. So 
let's go ahead, let's open up some script tags. And then inside of here, we can actually initialize view. We'll do var app equals new view, all right? And with this basic setup, we're basically initializing view. We do need to pass in a few required parameters. The first one is the element, the EL. This is going to be the element that we bind um, the view object to. So in this case, we haven't created one yet, but we're going to want to. So let's go ahead and let's create a, um, a wrapping div here with a, the class of app, okay? So um, you can see we have a div with the ID of app, and then inside of here we have our hello world, right? So let's go ahead and bind to that. We're gonna do pound sign for ID, obviously, and then we're gonna do app, all right? And this is gonna say that we wanna bind the view element to the app div, all right? And now the next thing we wanna do is we need to have our data. This is information inside. We wanna pass an object for this data. And this is the information, the variables kind of, that you can think of. Um, these are like the, this is the, this is the actual model of view. Okay, so these are, this is the data objects that view is going to handle, okay? And we'll talk about some of the advantages of view handling certain objects down the road, but you're gonna start seeing it just by using it. All right, so let's go ahead and create our first one. We're gonna say message is the first um, object that we want it to handle, or the few, first um, model. And then we're going to say hello view world, all right? So now we've gone ahead, we've defined what um, this message is. Now the variable called message is equal to hello view world, all right? And that's it, that's really all there is to it. So what we can do now up here is we can tell it to basically print that out. And it's gonna be very similar to blade. We use the double brackets and then we can tell it um, to you know print out message, all right? So it's gonna echo out message here, the value of whatever message is. So let's go ahead and save that. Let's go back over to there and let's open this up in the browser. I've got it running right here. You can see that it now says hello view world. So it's initialized the object. We know that's happening. It set it equal to um, hello view world and that's now getting printed up here, which is awesome. All right, so if you head over here, let's go and inspect the element real quick and let's go into our JavaScript console. Let's go to app dot uh, message and set it equal to um, hi world. All right, and you can see that it updates immediately. So as soon as we update the object, it updates again. Now this is a two-way binding, something we'll talk about, or I guess it's one, one way binding, I guess right now. We'll talk about two-way binding in the future, but um, it shows that the uh, that data object is bound to um, you know where it's output in the template, okay? So we can immediately change this by just changing um, that item. This is kind of gives you the initial, the beginning um, concept of how view is dynamic, all right? So it's, it's really, really cool. Um, and you can see that it updates immediately, all right? So that's pretty cool. That's the beginning of our view project. You can see how we were able to basically bind um, that object and initialize the view project and it's that that easy so you could basically add view to any project that you wanted by just inputting that one script tag and you'd automatically have advantage um, be able to take advantage of view this can go on shared host this can go there's no deployment necessary it's just that easy that's one of the advantages of using view over some other javascript framework like angular or something like that or ember or whatever all the different competitors right now to view.js um, that is the beauty of it is the simplicity of views so that's all we're going to do in this video in the next video we're going to start talking about directives which is something pretty important that you'll learn use a lot in um, view and it just further adds a lot of value to what view.js can do